It's been a real long summer of festivals. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit tired. But once more onto the breach, we've got the last one this weekend. It's Orkney Rock Festival. We're here at Scrabster, waiting for the ferry. We're actually into autumn now, and it certainly feels autumnal. I haven't filmed any of the journey up because it's been thick fog all the way. It's just cleared here, so we're hoping that a ferry arrives on time. Now, to get to Orkney, there's two sensible ways. You can go from Gills Bay near John O'Groats to St Margaret's Hope, or you can come through Thurso and go from Scrabster to Stromness, and that's the way I'm going because uh, thanks to Dwayne Davies from Quintana, when he had his up LAR, he got his friends and family on Northlink ferries, which reduces the price down to a wee bit below what you pay for the other ferry. Now, with the thick fog, I'd be a bit concerned going that way because they've run aground when the sun's been shining and it's foggy today. <laughs> but in good old Top Gear style, the other guys are going on the, the other ferry and we're going on this one. We're going from Thurso. So we're going to have a Top Gear style race to see who gets to the campsite first. Now, their ferry goes first and they land before us. They've got a shorter journey, but they've got a longer drive. So, 50-50 is to see who makes it there first. Just a bit of fun, a bit of interest. Now, if you thought that looked like a band van, you'd be right. Bad actress. Orkney is a land shrouded in mystery and ancient history and Viking traditions and looking in the runes I have a feeling that an old traveller has returned just something about the runes I don't know what it is Pete, Pete. you tosser, you're, you're missing, missing out, out. He's still a tosser, but he's not going to miss out this weekend. Or maybe he will, because he'll be in bed before anyone else, because he's shite like that. He's a disgusting, horrible little man. But he's our disgusting, horrible little man, and we love him. Hey, Hills. Hey, Pete. I'm hungry. Hiya. Oh, hi. Oh, wow! <laughs> Magic! Okay. I just took the tribal sickness pills and wait for it, wait for it. I have my own sick bags. <laughs> so, if you watched the last time we came back from Orkney, Hills was a bit ill on the way back. Hills wanted to die. Yeah, I had to actually pick her up and drag her to the toilet. Tell us the story about when you was in the toilet. When I was in the toilet? Yeah. I was being sick in one of the cubicles and there was a little lady beside me who was American and we were both throwing up the toilet and she turned it or she shouted all across to me I don't know who you are but thank you for being here with me <laughs> as we were mutually <laughs> Hey Hills. Hey Pete. <laughs> Mind that time when we were on the ferry boat to Shetland? Yeah. And we were in the bar yes. having a couple of drinks. Us in the bar, good heavens. Yes. Aye. Yeah. And you opened an attachment on your phone. <laughs> 
what the noisy one. <laughs> <laughs> you had the orgasmic screaming lady. That one. <laughs> you didn't like that. And the whole bar stopped and started laughing at you. Hey, Spunky. You're still a tosser. <laughs> Spunky, you tosser. You're not missing out, not this, missing weekend. out this weekend. Flange. You don't want to be doing that for long, love. Or maybe I do. We've made it to Picacoy in Kirkwall. This is a campsite and it's 21 degrees. It's unbelievable. It's uh, so hot. This was not forecast and we're not going to complain about it. But yeah. Guess who's made it? He's here. I'm he's, here. He's actually here. I'm actually here. But the best thing is that we've beaten the other fairy lot. They are the uh, losers. Look at all the lose on news. Lose on news. Where are they? <laughs> ah, where are they? Look at that empty, here. emptiness. Spunky got emptiness. here last night. So, he's, How was he's, it? he's it a was winner. Great. It was uh, not too cold. Music was good. Beer was good. Losers! Fucking losers! Is that another loser arriving? <laughs> losers abound! Losers! <laughs> Do you like dags? I don't know. There was a dag in the deal. Alright, see ya. Oh, that is shit. Hi, y'all. Get your camera out there. You alright? Yeah. Cool. Hello. Bring it in. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen you, Sweet Cheeks. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, awesome. you don't see me. What are you doing here? You're like a fish out of water. A <laughs> fish? <laughs> hello. All the way from Southampton, we've got one to come up. What are you thinking of the weather and, and the, the island so far? I brought it with me, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to get uh, in on the, the bands and, and locals on Friday tattoo session this time and that Jason's going to sort us out. He's a lovely man. Anyway, Hills is going first so and if she cries I'm I'm bumping it. <laughs> what finished finish? Yeah, I'm taking oh, a break. Yeah. I've been uh, doing it for eight years now. I'm just like, yeah, I need to have like a couple of weeks off. Alright, mm -hmm. okay. I have not been further away than Shetland in oh. four years. Oh wow, oh, you need to so spread taking... your legs. <laughs> Just so I don't want them, you want me to start crying. Oh. Please don't. <laughs> no crying today. <laughs> Sorry mum. Get off. Oh, I've got the numbers in. Oh yeah, we've got the same one. <laughs> right, the Orkney Rock Festival is over four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The um, Thursday night is just a kind of warm-up affair. That's the one that Spunky went to last night secretly until he got caught. Uh, we've arrived on the Friday. Uh, the three days, the Thursday, Friday and Sunday are just in pubs. Uh, free entry and... On the Saturday, there is a main event in a hotel called the Nuke, uh, which is part of the Albert Hotel. But I, I know it as matchmakers because that used to be the cattle market that you'd go to on a Saturday night after rugby when, when we used to come and visit here. Um, 
the main event is, is paid and it, it's uh, very good there's about eight bands on throughout the day and the rest of the town well we'll show you that anyway in the pubs we're going to go and head out and get some food and check out the bands tonight there's a few that i've seen before and i'm quite looking forward to seeing again so the infants are in a tent and they had all of this space here all of this billiard table to put their tent up on and they've put it on a slope <laughs> This, it gets very, very slimy when it's wet. There's a load of seagull shit and duck shit and everything on here, and it just turns into slime. This is new, busy. We've got here. Six years ago, Damien. <laughs> Damien played in a band here called Angersay. Oh. Uh, Angersay uh, on hold. Permanently. Hiatus. Permanent hiatus because uh, um, you can find that out yourself. Good shit happened. <laughs> Good shit happened. Oh. But uh, Damien's got a YouTube channel as well. If you like your fishing, POV fishing Orkney, check it out. It's excellent. And he catches fucking massive fish. It's embarrassing how big the fish are that he catches, and I catch nothing like that. I would have to catch about 40 fish to catch one of his in weeks, right? So what have you got to see to like, Mike, something that you've got to see me? Keep watching this fellow in a boot. I'll try and keep him going this weekend. But he's a creature. You don't have to see what happens. I'm coming up to go fishing with him next year. We'll record that. And I'll get my arse handed to me on a plate. <laughs> What you got to do is run away I was today years old, I fucking hate that saying, why am I even saying that? But yeah, I was today years old when I found out that second skin doesn't stick to me. It just fell off, so uh, I've got no protection on my new tattoo. I hope it's okay. We've just left the Ola, where we saw uh, a band, can't remember the name of the first band, but uh, my pal Damien's boy plays in a band called Britannia. And they were on second there, and uh, they're really good. And I would have stayed to watch the whole set, but I fucking love Saltfish Filthy, who are playing in the, the motor hoots now. So we're going up there. So we gave Britannia three or four songs, and we're on our way up now. It's pan, fucking really hard to get us going. Pan down a bit, pan down a bit. <laughs> well, hiya. No, they were very good. Uh, a bit screamy, but they were very good. They love their art. And Billy Mayhem, I hope you're fucking watching this and realising that I'm uh, repping today. Tantrum, I hope you're realising <laughs> this as well. <laughs> you repping today, Hills? I rep, it's still dead. Okay. Have you uh, had them felt today, have you? Yes. <laughs> 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 Did you expect to get the felt no, today? I didn't. <laughs> Coming back with the toilets, you don't need expect to get your tits patted. I'm giving this young man here, I'm giving him a hard time about his fashion sense. Because he's got his fucking t-shirt. He's got his t-shirt tucked into his jeans. But it's because he wears a belt buckle. He's also got he's also got cowboy boots on. I mean fuck sake. Oh wait, 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 wait. Guys. Okay. When he walks 
fits in with us earlier on. It's like the fucking Monty Python sketch, you know, with the, oh, the horse. Coconut. Right. Yeah, the coconut. So it sounded like that when he's walking alongside us. Anyway, he says you haven't seen my band because apparently the band all dressed like this. So, James, sell us. Sell us your band. Translation. Well, Post punk band from Dundee, uh, met through the University Bad Society and then just kept playing. And, uh, the most recent single is Lately. We're looking to get, I'm the drummer, we're looking to get two more singles recorded. Uh, the next one I think will be called What I Found and possibly a new one that we're working on. What kind of music is it? Post punk and sort of alternative rock. Okay. Alright, and are they good? I'd like to think so. What are your influences? There's quite a few, because we all have sort of different influences, which we all bring to it. Ethan's a big fan, Ethan the guitarist, a big fan of Pink Floyd, something like that. Kyle, the lead singer, he's a big fan of The Cure, The Smiths, things like that, and you can hear it in his voice, which is... So is that a bit coffee as well? I bet you. His, his voice, I think, is really key to a sound, honestly. You don't look coffee though, do you? Not I, at all. No. It's because I'm ginger. Spunky! You're still a tosser. <laughs> I'm here with Tommy here from Bad yeah, Actress, yeah, yeah. he plays rhythm guitar. But if you Tommy, have you got to anything to say? Uh, spunky, yeah, yeah, you're still yeah, a tosser, yeah. but you're a good guy. <laughs> Shows your t-shirt. Switch guitars. Woo! So I'm here with Louis, the drummer from Bad Actors. Best drummer on the island at the moment. But, Louis, do you have anything to say for anyone? Spunky, you're still a tosser. <laughs> We had a um, <laughs> really nice time at Vasemouth. They, they were fantastic in the Torvo. Uh, I don't didn't show you us getting there and all that shit because I'm a shite vlogger. But uh, um, Vasemouth were fantastic. They're going to take some beating this weekend now, I think. That was great. Uh, somehow, I've gone from migraine to wanker. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Hang on, here we go. Oh, they fucking noticed that I'm on my, my camera now. It's nice to see Spunky out though. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. lovely to see Spunky out. <laughs> <laughs> he might be a tosser, but he's our tosser. He's out, he's out. And I'm not missing out. He's not missing out. Things uh, are changing. It appears it's going to get misty again here. I hope it's not misty tomorrow. Not because it will affect our day at all, really, except for sitting out in the sunshine in the morning. 
but it's definitely <laughs> mustering up. Yes, I have some tobacco, so see when next time you want a raw one, come and speak to me. I have a whole time. Look at him, look at him. Hiya. He's definitely not missing out. Uh, wow. I'm here. Oh, wow. I'm making the most of it. <laughs> oh, man. This this guy, that right, is the reason why I probably started my YouTube channel. Me? Right? Yeah, well, I had a YouTube channel, but it's just a place where I dumped the videos. Oh, we did the thing but when I started, fly, didn't we? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did uh, a mountain biking video, and then I thought, oh, we can do shit that we've got away with on festivals and all that, because he is the dirtiest. Naughtiest, most disgusting fucker in the world, and I oh, wish that I'd caught half of what he'd got on camera. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm not that <laughs> dirty and that disgusting, but I do have a bit of a laugh sometimes. Well, that's it, we'll just have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't come out with us very often nowadays, and no, I miss, nowadays, I miss I the fucker, miss the fucker. So but here I am, so he's here, yeah, so. We're making the most of it. Give me a hug, give me a fucker. Oh. <laughs> it's all great until someone shits and giggles. Shits and giggles. <laughs> Cash is uh, fairly beautiful. It's uh, calm and. Hello. I'm ready. It's my sausage and egg wrap. But before I eat that, we've got to go and check this out. <laughs> what you got? Tattoo. Where? Some Sh mints. Show us it. It's all taped up so you can't see anything. Uh, oh, you got the raven? Aye. With the tail, as opposed to your ones, which didn't hear the tail. As opposed yeah. to the, the old school ones. They haven't even got the tail. Well, the, the sure? bit around the tail. Can't really see it, so oh. it's taped oh, up. Oh, you got to wait for the clothes to fill up while The sun is over the yard arm. So it's time to uh, crack the gears. It's uh, 12 something. Time to get back on it. Flange. The creature from the lagoon returns. I don't know how you put up with it. Hello. It's like 23 degrees and she's in a nudie again. And she'll complain that she's hot and sweaty in two minutes. How are you doing? Stop bleeding away. How are we getting on, my guy? Last time we were going, probably one of the fans of yesterday. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> do you allow outsiders? Oh, yes, you're allowed to find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, do we need one of these? Yeah, have you got the how many is in your band? Eh, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> Give us two seconds, though. Sorry, sir. Yeah. So, Mr. Pete Devlin? That'll be me, eh? Here's the beautiful column. 
Callum, tell us about your uh, strongman antics for the last couple of years. Uh, I've been competing for about four years, but uh, the last couple of years I've been competing in the natural strongman stuff. Uh, competed in Scottish qualifiers this year, came third in one, won the other one, and uh, complete, competed at the British natural strongman this year as well. So it's been going well, a lot of competing, a lot of eating, now it's time for drinking. And you made a few friends along the way, haven't you? Yeah. Do, do you few... want to name drop some of them? Um, well, I spoke with uh, the Stoltmans, I did a stone lifting tour with Martin's Lacey's, he was a world champion as well. So, so how have you done in the stone lifting? Stone lifting's been good, yeah. Uh, I like doing the natural strongman stones in Scotland. Uh, yeah, you've done the Dunny stones now. I? I've done the Dunny stones, yeah. left the nook because we're hungry. They do food in there but we fancy trying something a little bit different so we're walking down High Street and I don't think we're going to get anything but we'll try. We'll keep walking and then uh, we might end up going back to the venue. But... Spongy, we found a bed your size. Excellent, oh, that'll save me a job later. It's not next to it. <laughs> <laughs> What you got, Hills? The skeezards. <laughs> the pretty big goose ones. It is a big goose one. Like, that's like three fish uppers. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's Cajun burger. Uh, chips are a wee bit underdone, but aye, they're alright. You've not had the burger yet, have you? Not yet. Mm. I'll just leave it to last. Yeah. Eat, thing, eat things separately. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Some sort of local <laughs> burger <laughs> with haggis and bacon. Oh, no, this and Billy Wally chips. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very nice. This is the autistic side. Nice? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, very good. Would you eat again? Would you eat again? Yeah. Right. I've got uh, fish red Thai curry. Or red Thai cu fish curry. Yeah, she's very nice. Very pineapple y. Some of spunk will be tasting nice later. So, there's a game called Bar that they play, I think it's Boxing Day, and these barriers here are for the bar game. It's basically thousands of people playing a game of rugby kind of thing where they just fight over a ball and it takes hours and it's the first team to get the ball to the, the harbour. <laughs> Gazoon fight. <laughs> The harbour, if you're a dooney, or the top of the hill if you're an uppie. But, but there's uh, lots of buildings that have the barricades on them to stop the buildings and walls and everything getting damaged. Because <laughs> hundreds of people leaning yeah, against them, knackers the them. There's barricades over there. Well, right, here's some more. That's the ones I was minding. I think he was kicking in. Or These buildings over here, those those wooden planks are there to protect the windies in the building from all the people fighting over a ball. It's, it's a spectacle I have to come and see one year. Recognise this from anywhere?
some merch. Got, got a, a rock fest beanie in a Shetland style here, quite like that. And I've also got a t shirt from Bad Actress and a couple of patches. Six houses has got the same as me. I got my flowers. No, you know, you I can did. see that. You can see did. that now, but. Right. So, Keith, who got their hat first? Hell's got a hat first. Yeah, thank you. You said on it together. I'll edit it. I'll edit it so that I win. <laughs> We've just seen <laughs> Blackfire Rising, and they were excellent. They were a really good band. Bad actors before them were excellent. But this place is so fucking hot in here. It must be like 40 degrees in here in a minute. But we've got one band left, the Hostiles. I think they're kind of ska punk. I haven't listened to them. I'm a shit kind of music guy, aren't I? But uh, the Hostiles, uh, they've got the best t shirts there. I love them. So I'm looking forward to them. But we're all hot, we're all sweaty, and we're all a bit tired. So I'm going to be glad when this is over we can get out into the fresh air. Alright, we'll show you a little bit of what else. <laughs> Your first Orkney Rock Festival, what are you thinking about it so far? It's pretty class. <laughs> Bands will be very good. Yeah, okay. Now you're a drummer. What's the best drummer you've seen today? Or this weekend? Uh, the guy in Bad Actress is really good. What, that one just over there? <laughs> yeah, just film him. I'm sure he won't mind. Yeah. He dropped five sticks though, did you notice that? No, I didn't. I thought he was going to catch uh, it. We, 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 we had a spare one, so we dropped it. He had another yeah. one yeah. just yeah. One on the kick, one on the high-hat stand. Uh, yeah. And then uh, several on the ground. Several all around. Several yeah. next to you. So, Heather. Hello. You've been at a lot of festivals. Yeah. For someone your age, it's a ridiculous amount. You've got a very generous dad. I know, I know. I know. I'm lucky. So, what do you think about this one? I think this was it's really different than a lot of them. It's kinda similar to Bonfest but slightly better. <laughs> Laughing now. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> what have you got, Hills? Chips and cheese. What have you chips, got, Karen? Chips. Chips. Chicken pakora. Uh, well, I've got healthy <laughs> veggie pakora. Right, we're back at the van. Oh, excuse me. No need. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's only natural. It's only natural. There's no need to get so wound up. It's only natural. <laughs> Jesus. Only smell. Anyways, uh, hostiles were excellent at the, the main event. And then we, we left and had a kebab. Not a kebab. I had some veggie bakora and... They had chips and shit, and Spunky had chicken pakora or something, which is nice. That, that we take away is a bit, I don't know, a bit of a dive, but it's the only place that's open. So it's okay. I've not had food poisoning from it yet. Uh, we're back at the van drinking. Fucking tea again. Aye.
And this is sad, isn't it? Tomorrow night you're going to have to be sober. <laughs> I liked all the bands. Who's your favourite band? Favourite band was Bad Actress. Okay. Yes. I like the Hostiles as well. So between the two of them. Is that because they sang a song appropriate to you? Does your mother know that you're up? Because <laughs> you're so young. Absolutely. Uh, I am. I'm just a child. You like the hot oh, styles were good, weren't they? They were. Yes. They were very. Um, uh, oh, God, I've forgotten them now. Interrupters. Interrupters, that's yeah. the one. I like interrupters, though. Real big fish. <laughs> yeah. uh, they were pretty good. Um, punky scar. Yes, no, they were good. Yeah, got the place bouncing. I've never seen the place so busy all day. Yeah. Uh, it was roasting. How how can a place this far north be so hot in September? Ridiculous. Yeah, it was absolute sweat box. <laughs> Which is great, you know, it's great, but wasn't quite prepared for that. I had to keep going outside to cool down. And I was not alone. There was a lot of folk outside cooling down. There was taps off and everything. <laughs> Alrighty, Sunday morning then, last day of the rock fest. It's cooler and uh, great day. I'm glad it's cooler because it's been too hot. How can you even have it too hot in Orkney? But yeah, too hot the last couple of days and uh, it's much cooler today. It's a bit of a breeze, so there's no fog and uh, yeah, the weather's looking okay for getting home if it stays like this. I hope so. Um, we're off to see um, Anger and Callum, strongman Callum, for, for a meal in the Airs Hotel. Never been in there, so we'll see what that's like. And of course, I'll show you because that'll be shite content. Um, been out for a lovely shower in, the, in the, the facilities here in the picky County site. Uh, I'll show you that little, well, I'll show you the facilities here just now. Putting, play the clip. Now, I don't like to judge, but there's a recreation room there, and since we've been here, from 8am until 1 or 2am, there's been a family in there, sitting there on their phones and laptops. Why would you come all the way to Orkney to spend your whole time in a recreation room? It's like they don't have... Wi-Fi or something at home. I don't know. I can't, can't understand it. They have spent their whole time. We've got a dog as well, and they just spend two the dogs. whole time. Two dogs. Spend the whole time in the recreation room, in the same seats. They're like a permanent fixture. Every time you go for a pish or a shite, there's that there. They must know the bladder frequency of every single person in this campsite. <laughs> Pills, did you miss a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a cyclops? Were you putting mascara on your third eye? <laughs> Don't make me cry! The worst old man! Oh my god! I can't believe Gav is gone! Where's he going, Spunky? Uh, touristy things. Culture. He said he was going to go to the Stennis Stones and bring a Brogdon with me. <laughs> What are you got else? Chicken Supreme! <laughs> what you got, Karen? Bacon out pie. Yeah, very nice. You've got. I'm shagged. Well, half a sheep by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got the other half. <laughs> what you got, Spunky? Uh, stem, ginger, and toffee cheesecake. With the strawberry on top. Me and all. Somebody nicked my fork. Meringue. Sticky toffee for day. A cheesecake? You? Chubstar. Have a strong wall, please. Like and subscribe! <laughs>
Has told me that you don't know what the rusty trombone is. <laughs> I like that. I don't, I don't like how I go. I think this was this is all your fault. Okay, oh, come on, Heather. Oh, There's not that bad, really, is it? I'm sure you've done worse. Sweet sorrow, sweet sorrow, sweet sorrow, sweet sorrow, sweet sorrow, sweet
Here I come, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby come on, baby. Just about done now, just about done, just got the roof to do and uh, Hills has got to put a face on which will take about three hours so we'll probably miss the ferry which is at 11 o'clock, uh, it's only half an hour's drive from here, uh, we've got to be there by about 10 and that's the rain coming on, the wind is not too bad so hopefully we'll have an okay crossing but if Hills goes green of course I'll film it for you, <laughs> found him! Oh my god, there's more than one of them. What have you got, Hills? Hey, bacon and egg. Oh. This is the first time I'll see it. But maybe a second. Attention, please. Well, the kitchen is no shut after the show. I'm going to start with a chuckle. Cheers, Dad. What you got, Fatty? Sausage and egg roll. I've only got one. Yeah. Fatty. Fatty. Well, if you made it this far, Thanks very much for watching. You must be impervious to shite content torture. Now you'll notice that on Sunday I haven't put any band names down. Mainly because I forgot who I was watching. But also because Sunday's a bit of a, a funny one in Orkney. Because they, they play under aliases. So the bands that you're getting are also bands with real names. But... Aside from that, there, there's such a, a pool of talented musicians there on the island that they just mix and match and jam with each other. So it's a bit of a open mic session as well. But the, the finished product is great. It's just musicians having fun. If musicians are having fun, the sound that comes out of them is, uh, is amazing. I just love Sunday in, in Orkney. Many thanks to the Orkney Livewire team for putting on the event. And also getting us in for our tattoos on the Friday. That was much appreciated after we'd missed two years of, of tattoos. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I was restricted to one festival a year, it would be Orkney. Never mind your downloads, your grass pops, your hell fists and everything else like that. There is nowhere on this planet like Orkney Rock Festival. You get such a sense of community and friendship when you go there. It's it's just unbelievable. I've tried to convey how, how a friendly lot they are in, in my video. I don't know if it comes off, but to me it's just amazing. You just turn up 
and they welcome you with open arms like you're one of them and you'll just have the greatest time and you make friends for well what i hope is for life because they uh, every time we go back they just love it and the, the other thing is is when you go somewhere else and an no Acadian finds you well you're expected to drink and socialize so it's just something that once you're in you're one of them then there's no escaping and i love it so thank you Orkney Rock Festival i'll be back next year <laughs>